Hey, greetings, 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 my fellow tribe members, my fellow earthlings, greetings, what is that, oh, okay, um, hope everybody's having a wonderful weekend, um, Sunday, Sunday's normally a day that we, you know, calm down and chill out and relax, so I hope everybody has enjoyed it and joined it along with the full moon as well. We did have a full moon in um, Aquarius, so um, just hope everybody's reflecting and releasing everything. So I'm just going to hop into my experience. Um, what I'd like to talk about today is detaching from human emotion. Always. I love to talk about this because this is the one that we're not getting. So... Um, I want you guys to know before I, I'm going to take all questions and say hey to everybody at the end so I can just go straight in. So I went to a party last night. Went to a house party. Um, it's supposed to be like a conscious, spiritual type of house party. You know, I was down. And so when we got there, the vibe was cool. You know, it had live music. Um, you know, the vibe was, it was you know, it was okay. It was, it was cool. And then, um, I guess some guy, because it was also like drinking, like I didn't know people were going to be drinking there. Nothing against somebody who likes to, you know, maybe have a cider or a wine. I'm not saying it's good or bad, but they were drinking like hardcore alcohol. And you know how that happens and the effects on the brain it has. So I kind of was like, oh, okay, this, I see why this did get the way it did. So there was a guy who was, um, intoxicated. And he calls me a bitch. Called a woman a bitch. The whole house went chaotic over somebody calling a woman a bitch. Everybody jumped up. They was like, nah, that's messed up. He's calling our queens bitches and this and that. Now it's the full moon. They getting all aggressive and mad. This is supposed to be something a party about love a party it was a fourth chakra party so it was supposed to be a party that was promoting love but since everybody was in their human emotion they reacted everybody went crazy when that guy called that uh lady a bitch they went freaking bonkers it, it was like a circuit break uh, a circuit like a spark just like that, reaction, energy just snapped them, took them, just like that. We have to start examining everything. Me, I didn't take it personal when he called her a bitch. First off, I didn't even know about it. Second of all, okay, he called her that. But do we really know what the definition of a bitch really is? We ever sit and really ask ourselves, well, where did bitch come from? What does bitch mean? Not even just that. If bitch really meant what y'all think it probably did mean, okay, he called her a bitch. Okay, what? You still got your house? You still got your car? She still got her car? She still got her house? Him calling her that name shouldn't have had such a humanly reaction to it. I thought I was the only one that just, I was like, well, damn, am I emotionless? Because this is not getting to me. Because I seen the bigger picture. The vibrations of some of the people were low. So they had certain entities on them. So those entities edged on the situation because it was drawing from the negative outputs from everybody. Nobody seen it. I tried to explain it, and I'm explaining it to you guys. Nobody still see it. So I ask, okay, when I'm talking, do people really in there and understand what I'm saying? Because you, you can't, I, I couldn't understand why nobody could see that. Like, how everybody just automatically jumped with a human reaction. And I can't stress this enough about us calling these, you know, we're gods, we're goddesses, and we're, we're all these things, you know? 
but yet we still let human emotions control us. Are we human or are we gods? What are we? Yes, we're having a human experience. I'm not saying don't have a human experience. You're down here to the in this school to use this avatar to maneuver you to through this. That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is control this avatar. You can't be a god or a goddess or whatever labels or anything else you want to put on something. And don't know how to control, like I always said, the subconscious mind. And don't know how to have the foresight and the hindsight to see what's really going on in the situation. We just jump instantaneously to something and just get upset about it. And we, we just react so fast without examining the situation. And so I just been seeing it a lot. And it's just like um I'm starting to I'm starting to ask myself every day. It just feels like, am I like emotional this? Like I'm not saying that I um what what I'm saying is like I slowly I, I'm a I'm a water sign. I'm a double water sign. And I can be very emotional. But what I notice is the more I enter and overstand this whole reality, the emotions is fading away. So it's almost like in the movie Lucy. The more Lucy used her brain, the more Lucy started losing out on her human emotions. It's because she's seen everything as a cause and effect. Everything as a calculation. The more you use your brain, the more you know how to use your subconscious mind, the more you deprogram your subconscious mind, and the more you detach so so many humanly emotions, you just see stuff more clearer because there's no hidden agenda behind it. It's no judgment. It's no identity to it. We put identity to so many things, and that's what's really going to hold us back and not be able to prosper because we see so many things as good and bad what's good to you may not be good for me and vice versa we just have to see it coming from different perspectives people live in different realities i have to also see it that nobody's going to live in my reality i might not need people to actually just live in the type of reality that i live in but you know what if it's shall it shall but if not then i just got to keep pushing in doing what I'm supposed to do to serve my life my life purpose. But we just I just seen a lot of people that just really and I know it's a working process. I'm not here like, you know, gonna be like it's all easy. I know it's a working process, but we just can't take stuff so literal. Like people get upset when you curse in, in the video. Like do you, have you ever sat down and really think about where these words really come from? Like the origin of the word, or not even that. Like look past the physical word. Like I know a word is a vibration, and I know that people can say certain words to try to do harm to you. But if you're all knowing, you're a god. You got Oshun. You got Oshun. Baba Legba. You got all these deities behind you. Then why are you? Or worry about somebody saying something to you. Just think about it. We get so razzled, dazzled over just anything. Just the reaction. Just those entities being there sucking up all that full moon energy from the people because they want to have humanly emotional and emotional response to the situation. You have to really start knowing thyself, examining thyself. Why did I act out like this? Why did I see this like this? Why do I feel like this? And you have to give yourself an honest answer. It can't be egotistic based. If you mess it up and you think of like, like this because of whatever it is, you know, be real to yourself. Be my homeboy. I'm going to take off your own. It's just like, it just, 
really knowing the difference between your higher self and this human everyday life which is perfection everything in this 3d uh, uh, uh um 3d reality is material so if you're a type of person that ha is very materialistic you gotta have a nice brand car you gotta have the nice brand shoes you gotta look good and have your hair tapered all up, mustache all trimmed. If you gotta have all of this, who is that that needs all of that? I'm not saying you gotta go out, pull the shoes, you know, side. I'm not, I'm not saying that. I want you to enter and understand what I'm saying. What I'm saying is ask yourself who is that entity that has to feel accepted, that has to fit in with the community. It's like their appearance. Is them. Ask yourself what entity is that. Because if you truly were a god, do you think a god worries worries about what somebody gonna say or think if you don't have a certain type of shoes or clothes or car? You think a god worries about human materialistic stuff like that? But your ego does which is connected to your physical human avatar, it's the entity that took over the avatar. It wants to it wants to it wants people to see that. It wants the attention. It has to look good. As I told y'all, I might got the same thing on two or three days. I might dirt. I still wash my body and I wash my hand my clothes out by hand and dry them. And yes I will wear them the next day. With clean clothes. I, I don't care if the person down the street from me gets the same clothes as me. I don't care. You know what I mean? Like, I want to dress up, I'll dress up. If I, really, if, I, if I want to, most of the time, it's just like, whatever. I'm more than these clothes. I'm more than this human body. So we just really have to detach. I want y'all to understand what I'm saying. Because me, just talking, you know, talking and telling people this, like nobody was seeing it. They would still just go on, you know, on a rant, talking about some other stuff. Like these words are just words. If I called you a fat slob, and society made the word, you know, flat slob, being somebody sloppy, and you get mad, what? Well, it doesn't matter if if Tom gave the definition of fat slob and said it was being fat. Like, don't, just don't let the word get to you. Just don't the word. Whites, I'm that. Don't call me that. I ain't that. I'm this. It's supposed to be all. But how can you categorize yourself and say you're this, not that? Just keep labeling. I'm a vegan. I'm a Christian. I'm a Mason. I'm an Eastern Star. I'm Islam. I'm Moorish. I'm Iguapian. I'm indigenous. Like, just all these labels, like, I'm not saying that you can't you can't associate with that stuff. What I'm saying is don't let the label take you over where you feel like I'm this, I can't do nothing else because I'm this, I'm that, I'm this, I'm I'm this, I'm that word, I can't do that because I'm this. That becomes a religion. You're a slave to whatever you 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 you, you believe in. You gotta you gotta have the experience. You gotta experience all. You are all. You're unlimited. Don't stay boxed up. Because the thing is, there's a new era, era, a new age already in play. And you guys got to have your mind open to get ready for these new rules. These new realities. Because the old paradigm of thinking, what we used to think, well, my mama and them, they raised me like that, that's old. That's old. We're coming in the age of no label. No label. Just flowing. You know, I love Willow and Jaden Smith. Respect them. Because they don't care what people think. They don't care what people say. They're just being them. People getting all upset. Jaden wearing a dress. Look what's happening to our black little boys. Oh, man. Human stuff, human stuff, human stuff. In America, 
you guys may think to wear a dress or skirt is wrong. Oh, that's gay. That's this. That's that. Because somebody else made that up. Society made that up so you just ride on the train and you think it's okay. But if you go to some places in the Middle East, if you go to Scotland, people wear, men wear skirts too. Oh, it's a kilt. It's different. It's the same damn cut, different label. They don't see it as wrong. So what's wrong or right? It's about your perspective and how you see the thing. What is wrong with him wearing it? So what? He wearing it. He a damn infinite being. Get out the physical. Who said that pink is for girls? Just because you born and you in a and you in a hospital and they got you in an incubator and you got a girl got a pink blanket on and the boy got a blue. That's that's society made that skin. It's a fucking color. My son ain't about to be wearing pink. That's gay. Get out of that thinking. That's human thinking right there. You think it's so weird about what color you put on? I mean, really think about it. You think love care about what color you put on? People will preach love. We got to love. We got to love everything, but still label everything. We are coming in a time with no label. Love doesn't have a label. It doesn't have a gender. It doesn't have a color. It's just love, unconditional love. Who cares if he got a freaking dress on? Look what he's doing. Look what they're doing to our black boys. Out of here. One thing y'all need to know is that we're in the divine feminine energy. It's going to be a lot of males getting to their feminine acts. Everything is going back woman. Woo man. The original. It's only natural that some of these men levitate to be homosexual or whatever words I want to put on. Everything going back to his natural order. Some of these men don't even know how to take the divine feminine energy. So they think that they're quote unquote gay. We need to drop these labels. When I was in Korea for a year, the Koreans, they're very intimate with each other. We got to know what intimacy is first. We view intimacy as sexual. It's the only logical thing we can put it behind. Is Okay, intimate is sexual. Not even realizing that right now me speaking, I am giving it to you, and you are receiving it. I am intimately, passionately giving your mind what it needs. This is intimate. This is giving and receiving. This is sex. This is being intimate, giving and receiving. If you're sitting down eating your food, that's it. When you're not gobbling it down, because I know sometimes I just go in. You got to slow it down. When you're slowly picking up the food, your body eating the food, you're nibbling it, you're feeling the juices, you're feeling the crunchiness, your hands touch your mouth. We eat with forks and stuff. I still eat with forks. I'm guilty of it. But the more and more I start thinking about it, when we're eating with these forks and everything, we're we're messing up the vibration of the food. We're messing up the connection. We're putting something there blocking us. We're not even getting the full vibration of the food. That's why kids naturally eat with their hands. They know what they're doing. It's us that's all insane in the membrane. So we have to get back to childlike. Children don't judge. They just do. So now I can bring it back to the to the story in Korea. So the Katusas is what they called them. They would wash each other's backs in the shower. No sexual nothing behind it because you don't think like the Western culture. They're helping their brother out. He can't reach his back. He's going to wash it for you. They don't see it sexual like we do. So just because they do it doesn't mean that they're doing it for a sexual reason. It's us that don't even know how to touch and bond each other without it being sexual. We're the fucked up ones. You should be able to touch each other non-sexual. That's how we communicate with each other. We are intimate beings. The more intimate we are with each other, the more connected we are. We're so corrupt thinking stuff is homosexual or gay because of nothing. 
there's nothing really wrong. And see, it's easier for women. Women, we're just naturally prone. And I think it has something to do with us just being a natural new man. And it could be it's harder for men because men are already a mutation of us. So maybe it's just wrong psychologically for them because they already know the mutation and they already know the act of, I'm not saying the act of them being here is wrong because everything happens for a reason, but maybe that's how they're seeing it in their brain. I'm not sure. But we would see that as being something gay. They don't even see it as being gay. Even some places in Africa, Guys hold hands in in, in, in in places they give a kiss on the cheek. Bonding. You guys should be able to hold hands. Who's why? Because the person down the street said that's gay. Oh, since they said it's gay, you're gonna think it's gay. You're gonna let it psychologically fuck your head and you know that love is love. Get out these human old pop processes. Stuck in the box. Get out the box, y'all. Get out the box. There's a new age coming. Some of y'all not going to be ready because it ain't about labels. It's about unconditional love. It's about expressing yourself through this human avatar. Express yourself. Be yourself. If you want to wear a purple and a green sock and a holy shirt, wear it. If your kids want to go to school with a Batman cape on, if you wear it about uh, such and such going to see it and they're going to be talking about you, who cares about them? Let your child be them. Get out of these human attachments and these human labels and this society standard and do you. Think about it. In other countries, certain things men do is perfectly fine. They're not doing it in sexual ways. But over here in America, even if a man was to even just hug his friend, it's because his friend was having a bad day. He's bad. What is gay? What gay? What is that? Faggot. A faggot is twigs. Go look up the word faggot. It means twig. It's time to wake up. Love is Love, hate, judgment will never, 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 never up trump love. We need to start changing our perspective. Like I always say, sisters need to start forming up with sisters and brothers need to form that brotherly bond. If y'all brothers, y'all should be able to hug each other. Y'all should be able to give each other a pat on the back. Y'all should be able to hold hands. When you was when you was with your brothers before, when you was little, didn't y'all hold hands? Didn't y'all sleep over in the same bed? Didn't y'all take a shower or take a bath with each other? Y'all did it then. What changed? Just because you in this grown uh, human avatar body, you can't do it no more? Get your mind right. Get it right. Break these labels, these boxes. They got you confined it. You can't even move on to the next level because there's so much human attachment attached to stupid humanly things. Get back to your childhood when you was holding your homeboy hand when you was a child. If you were, if you did not, I'm not saying all males did it. I got, I know some people like, oh, I ain't do that. I'm not saying all, but there's a time when two little boys y'all held hands, y'all slept in the same bed. Damn it, y'all probably even took a shower with each other. Y'all probably even just fucking got naked in front of each other. And now it's so homo to do. It's gay to do it now. Tap into your inner child with no judgment, with no identity. Just being in your natural state as you. Watch your children. Watch what they do. Look how natural they are. And look how your influence and your program is messing the kids up. Let them eat with their fingers. Let them do it. They doing the right thing. Some kids don't like clothes. They like to be butt naked. Let them be butt naked. You the one messing up. You not in your natural stuff. Let this human emotion go. We cannot, we are not here to save everybody. And as healers, healers think that, well, I got to save this brother. I 
know he like this, or I gotta save this sister, or I gotta save my mom, I gotta save my brother because I know they're mentally ill. Let them be. You can't heal and help everybody. Let it go. Don't get humanly attached to the situation. See that situation from hindsight, from your higher self. Your higher self knows that the situation is going to be how it is. Let them do them. Get more in the higher self. If you a God, be a God. I mean, I don't know, guys. I just, I had to get that out. I did because, like, just, I just really, I really just, more and more, we just have to connect. We have to, we have to bond. We, we don't, you know why the Asians and everything gets along? They got family businesses. They buy into each other. It's because they're intimate. They're intimate with each other. They bond with each other. They love each other. That's why us as people can't love each other because we're not intimate with each other. We put a label behind it. That's gay. That's lesbian. That's that. That's that. Nowadays, most men came to be friends with women and vice versa. I'm not saying all. I know some people do got some brothers and sisters that are just their friends. But when you look at the numbers, come on, let's be realistic. You know, women know that they got some guy friends that they may consider just friends, but the guy still tries to come on to them. That's because we don't know how to express that intimacy with each other without it being sexual. You should be able to call your brother up, woman, lady, and have your brother just there so you can just cuddle with him. Just chill. Maybe just massage your back. And it'd be something not sexual. I had the most beautiful experience with my brother Jeremy. I think it was Friday. We gave each other a massage, but the massage was so intimate. It wasn't sexual. It was intimate. The energy from his body going into my body, vice versa. The force field that we created around them. We just intimately shared that, that moment with each other. Non-sexual. 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 That's what we have to get to. And I think it's easier for the women. So, men, I'm kind of like speaking to you. Some of y'all not going to get it. Some of y'all not going to understand. And it's okay. Because I'm not here to stuff things down your throat and make you believe anything or anything in that nature. You know, it's your opinion. And it's all good. I'm not here to debate none of that. So if you want to leave comments, if you want to debate, just know either I'm going to delete it or I'm not going to debate back. I don't do that. I don't debate anything. That's one thing I will not do. I'm not going to do that. I'm not here to change your mind. But I'm just here to open your mind up to see things in a new way. The old thought pro 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 uh, process is not working. Those Asians don't get intimate with each other. Those are Italians that greet each other, give each other a kiss on the cheek. Men. They're intimate with each other. They stick together. We distance each other because we don't know how to get close to each other without it being sexual or without it being come as a lesbian. Human ideas. Human labels. So let's start being gods. Let's start being gods. Let's start being gods. All right, you guys, so I got that all out. If anybody has um, any questions or anything or want to ask me something to talk, I can say hey to everybody now because I had to get that out. Anybody that missed out, just going to have to go back. I have to start starting my videos on time. If I say 1 o'clock, you know, be there at 1 o'clock because I don't want to wait a whole lot of people to go on here. So let me just get the numbers back there. Um, Okay, and so for all of my YouTube family, I'm going to be answering questions right now. This video is going to be uploaded on YouTube, and I'm doing a live right now, so I'm just going to be taking some questions and answering some questions. So, yes, sister, I mean, yes, Jason, the balance between the, the masculine and the feminine, and that's androgynous. That's no label. That's no male nor female. See, for me, I think it's easier for, quote-unquote, gay males to be at that balance. 
something because they tap into their divine feminine energy. Now, some of them tap too far into it, and they don't have the balance with their masculine, but some are at that right balance. I think I'm in my right balance. I could be masculine, and I could be very feminine, but I brung them to balance. And when you bring the two in balance, you're also bringing the two hemispheres of your brain in balance, and when you do that, you can think clearer. You can think with no judgment. You know everything is just amazing. You have to get back into that. Women, we most definitely need to get back into it because we have to start procreating our own again. We have to strengthen up our DNA and get back to the XX chromosome. We have to get back to that strong XX. We mutate it off a little bit with the X mutated X. We need to get back on the XX because right now we're, we're mutating ourselves. We need to get back whole and divine. We need to bring the male, physical male energy inside of us and become the one again. So that's going to lead in another topic. I'll do another video about that. But does anybody else want to say anything before I get off of here? Yes, helping others by helping yourself is so true. Yes, touch is very healing. You know, I've had people I touch with before, and they just told me things and how they can just touch it, how they can just feel my energy before I even before I even touch them. So, touch is very. I love to touch. I'm a very cuddly person. I love to cuddle. I love to slay on. I need that. That's something that my my um how can I put it? My that's how my soul is structured. That's how I feel it. So, me. Being on people and being around people, it heals them. It sparks things inside them. So I want to be able just to touch somebody, just to rub them, not sexually, just run my hair through their hand without them thinking I'm trying to get, you know, yeah, I'm trying to get laid or something. Like, you know, just chilling out. We need to get back to that, y'all. Come on. You got to jump on board. I want to be hugged. I want to want other people to be alive. Other, just seeing this, like just really seeing my subconscious mind come forth again, seeing how when these shootings happen and how to harness the human energy off of certain movie faces and certain people in planetary alignment, y'all get mad, y'all want to march, y'all want to rant at the Black Panther Party, this, this, all of those distractions, all of those human emotions you have, keep it, come on, guys, wake up. We touch the divine and get real with each other. Yes, I like to make love to people's mind first before I even think about their body. One thing is, if I'm too physical in a person, I lose interest because I need to know their mind as well. Although I am a Scorpio and I do like the physical touch, I also like to just mentally see them. No limitations. How does it help us? Um, how does it help us ascend? Because we're coming in balance with our true self. But the thing is, and I'll, and I'll tell you, I'll also tell you, don't do so. I come from a time, and some other people can remember the time where it was just womb mind, right? Womb mind. We were the male and the female embodied in one, androgynous, androgynous, like. Like, no sexual identity, like, no male, no female type of thing, right? So we were that balance. But when our DNA got mutated and split off, we birthed the physical energy, which is the man. That's the physical energy that was inside of us. But we birthed it when our DNA went mutated. The man got mutated. So women, even men, Men need to come back into the divine feminine energy and stop trying to be so masculine and macho and think everything as being so how it's not. And some, what you would want to call some feminine man, need to come in balance with their masculine energy. It has to be balanced. Everything has to go lock into balance. But most definitely, the women need to come in balance with their masculine and stand inside of the feminine us. That's going to usher in the big change. When we, when women become balanced with both sides and stop searching outside of themselves, 
not saying that they have to leave their husband or their partner, but they have to realize that the physical manifestation of their husband or their partner is just really them. They're searching their self. It means they need to get balanced. Because when you get balanced, we're able to, because sperm is nothing but energy. A, a sperm cell is an egg impregnating another egg. The tail is just electrical current. So, um, so once 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 all of that comes into balance, harmony can start coming out. Some men right now are too patriarchal. They want to debate. They want to argue. That's that masculine energy. Even some women want to debate. They want to argue. They harness it in a lot of masculine energy too. So hope that this is adjacent. That's my opinion. Um, that's, that's what I first heard because I know I came from a time when it was like that. I know I came from a time when it was like that. So does anybody else have any questions? Like I said, if you missed out on the video, you can just see it again. Um, but that's just because I want to say something about the Does anybody else have any more questions? Anybody, anybody? Anybody raise their hand? Because if not, you can always just come back and ask me questions in the comments. And then, and then I'll answer your questions. So I don't want to hold anybody up anymore. Um, I'm wishing everybody a magical day. Um, for my YouTube family, if you don't if you don't already know, you can follow me on uh, Instagram, Ice underscore love 511, or you can hit me up on Facebook, Ice and Love. Without further ado, family, have a magical day. Keep pushing, keep striving, keep knowing thyself, studying thyself, journaling, programming the subconscious mind, all of that good stuff. Love you guys a lot.